The true ideology of the Sith in Star Wars is unfathomable to most casual fans. The mainstream films and content put out by Disney in the past few years paint the Darksiders as immature man-children like Kylo Ren, who have insecurity issues, or as psychopaths like Vader, who will kill and destroy with seemingly little cause or reason. Those who have explored the expanded universe content, they know that the Sith ideology is based off of a code much like the Jedi. Unlike the Jedi, though, they reject the status quo. That's the main difference. If you look at the first line of the Sith Code, it's peace is a lie, there is only passion. Meaning that one will have ambitions and goals that they wish to pursue that goes against the status quo. The Jedi are not like this, they value collectivism. That ambition, they believe it should be suppressed in individuals if it threatens society. The, Jedi, the Sith value individualism above all, and they reject collectivism, the idea of conformity. They also reject equality. They understand that individuals are not born equal, nor are people made equal, and hence they do not feel obligated to be bound by a social code or comply with social expectations. They are free to pursue whatever it is that they want. Hence, a cis true end goal is ultimate freedom from anything and everything. Whereas the Jedi's main goal is to preserve the status quo, the peace, the Sith, in the end, want to be free from the chains of society or whatever else. Hence, the last line of the Sith Code, my chains will be broken. This freedom does not just mean having to not answer to others. It could be freedom from biological limits. Hence, why many Sith pursued immortality. For the Sith, power is simply a means to an end, not an end in itself. Power is a tool to amass wealth to impose order. It's a resource to unlock the key to ultimate freedom, or immortality. Darth Sidious, for example, only saw his galactic empire as a means to an end, as his ultimate goal of immortality. So while the Jedi value maintaining the status quo, maintaining collectivism, and ensuring that no one else prioritizes themselves or their own interests over the collective whole, the Sith prioritize personal freedom above all else. Not all Sith are bloodlusted psychopath murderers. Darth Vectivus, for example, is known as one of the most benevolent Sith, as he did not follow the stereotype of, of a mass murderer. He actually lives a quite a peaceful life, but rather applied the teachings of the Sith to his businesses and became quite wealthy. So do not look at these at the mass content put out by Disney and, and assume that all Sith are like this because they're not. And there's a much deeper meaning to everything.